Whoa, 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 steady on there. No intro to all this time-lapse tomfoolery. Okay, then I will do an intro. This is a painting that I planned using ZBrush, which is a digital sculpting program that I hadn't actually used before, so I learned how to use it, especially for this painting. You can see all the problems that I went through in my previous videos. I'll put a link to the start of the process in the description. After I'd sculpted the main character, I then took it into Keyshot, where I was able to work on using different materials and lighting it in different ways. Finally, I finished everything off in Photoshop, and the end plan looked something like this. Okay, now you can get back to your time lapse. I spent a lot of time on that plan making it just right, especially in terms of composition. So the problem that I had then was, well, how do I improve it? I came up with three main areas for improving it that are going to be fairly subtle, but still I think definite improvements. So one was to make the colors look fresher. The colors in the plan look, well, dull. And I wanted the colors in the final painting to be really fresh and clean. The other thing I also wanted to improve on was the expression in the face and I thought that was actually better to leave until I was actually painting the final image and then I can faff about just changing it millimetre by millimetre rather than spending more time doing it in the plan. And the last thing was just to make it more sparkly, more glitter, more sparkles. So in this part of the painting process I was working on just blocking in the main areas of colour and also on making those colours cleaner and fresher. My secret to doing this was not to use black paint or Payne's grey or anything like that. I actually stuck to a split primary palette of three warm primary colours and three cool primary colours and a pot of white as well. Don't get me wrong, black paint does have its uses but I didn't feel like it was going to be what I wanted for this painting. The way that I actually made my darkest tones for this one was I used a lot of ultramarine with a touch of alizarin crimson and a tiny little bit of cadmium yellow light hue. Now after watching those little bits of facial improvements, I think it's time for a rabbit interlude. <laughs> Now while you watch this next part, which is all about glittery goodness, I'll tell you a little bit about the meaning of this painting. My first series, The Seven Gates, was all about my experience of depression, so I wanted this second series, called Guardians, to be the antidote to that, so it's ways to keep depression at bay. I'll go into this in much greater depth in a future video, but to cut a long story short, I decided to drastically cut down on the amount of stuff I was buying. Going out and buying stuff gave me a short term high, but ended up working against me, through feelings of guilt over stuff that I just never used, and also the sheer amount of space it all took up. Plus when I thought about my favourite moments with my favourite people, they didn't involve expensive stuff. They normally involved either something cheap and or something simple. The one story that I wanted to focus on in this painting is my favourite memory of my granddad, when he came to school to pick me up and he bought a little bag with him with strawberries in it that he'd taken from his garden and chopped them up, put a little bit of sugar on and we ate them as we walked along chatting about what we'd done that day. The actual cost of that is, is negligible but the amount that it means to me is immense. So that's what this painting's all about, it's about giving up complicated, cluttered piles of stuff and going for something more simple. Now let's focus a bit more on the painting process, and in particular, let's look at the painting of the glittery goodness. These first bits that I did are just pure white circles, and they are the, the heroes of the glitter world. To make them look a tad more professional than just pure white circles, 
I outlined them with a little bit of yellow and then with a little bit of orange around that too just to give them that glow some of the white circles I didn't quite use as thick a paint and then afterwards I would dab in little bits of white just to give it a texture I then painted a variety of sizes of circles in a variety of opacities some of them overlapping which added yet more visual interest I then went over any parts where they overlapped with more white just to increase the effect of the overlapping and on some of the circles I outlined them with yet more white and maybe a little bit of dabbing in there as well too I also did some tiny pure white dots for an extra little bit of detail wet on wet was another technique that I used so I applied plain water to it and then did my white circles into that and the paint would bleed out slightly making them go blurred finally I sprayed on some little bits of spatter with a toothbrush and in the very final stages of the painting I also added some subtle colour washes to some of the circles too And so we reach the end, lovely viewer, with a few final touches to the buildings at the bottom of the painting, and also adding a little bit more saturation to the main figure to help it stand out. And that's it. It's finished. If you're a glutton for punishment and you'd like to see the full process behind the whole making of this painting, then I'll put a playlist on at the end of this video and you can watch it all there. And now let's have the final reveal of my new painting and it's called Simplicity's Warmth. Thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and a big thank you in advance for any comments or likes that you leave me but i know that you weren't really here for the big reveal of my new painting you were here to find out what the final thing was that i found in my mum's loft now prepare yourselves for this one because it's something truly special Clog boat. Clog boat rises through the water like a boat made out of a clog. Clog boat never sinking because you're a huge block of wood. Clog boat. Oh. 
Many thanks again for watching, and now I think you deserve a nice cup of tea. Failing that, there's some more lovely videos here for you to watch, and there's also that handy little subscribe button in the middle. See you next time, bye!